Are you frustrated that your application is slow and you don't know why? I will let you in on the secret sauce that will help you find performance bottlenecks with just a few clicks in nothing else but Google Chrome. It doesn't matter if your poor performing code is written in React, Vue, Angular, Node.js, or vanilla JavaScript. This example app is slow when performing search for the first time, and the million dollar question is, why? Before I show how we made this app ridiculously fast, I have to thank the team at Troop Travel. As our YouTube subscribers, Troop Travel reached out and asked us to audit their new Vue 3 application because they love performance and their customers love great experiences. To find out why search is slow, we'll open the Chrome DevTools and navigate to the Performance tab. For best results, I always use a fresh version of Chrome without any extension or Chrome in incognito. I also make sure the app is freshly reloaded. Now hit the record button and perform the action you wanted to profile. Let's hit the record button again to stop profiling. Let's close the bottom bar and focus on the summary. You can see that there is about 1.6 millisecond of scripting. Scripting is the slow part of this feature. Because scripting is yellow, I can also see that as yellow in this chart. Big yellow chunks usually mean that there is heavy processing in that area. So let's just highlight this. Let's look at the flame chart below, and you can see that there are a lot of actions that are happening as a result of my key press. As I move down, I can see that something triggered a lot of small functions to be executed. This is already suspicious, but let's go back a few steps. Let's see where these big lines are actually broken. The last one I know is sorted trips. Let's click on sorted trips, and in the summary, now we see this section highlighted. I can clearly see that this function is in mcapp.view. Let's take a look. When I click on that file, Google Chrome is taking me directly to the source code. Let me enlarge this a little bit. And we can see the line with 0.2 milliseconds. Now this is really not too much. So surely this line is not the cause of the performance hit. But what's happening here is this filter function, which is the anonymous function from the flame chart. And something is happening right here. Let's go back to performance and investigate that a little bit more. What's really interesting to me is that big chunk of noise that's happening below. To get a little bit more information, I'm gonna switch from summary tab to bottom up. The bottom up list shows functions that are taking up a lot of time in JavaScript execution thread. In this example, we can see expand field, a certain getter, and expand field views. That must be something interesting, and I'm gonna see the file and the exact location right here. Okay, take a look at these timings. These are actually showing because I hit the performance tab and I audited the application. If I look at the script, I'm gonna see expand fields that has a certain loop that calls expand field, and then expand field has a very expensive loop again. And this function again calls another function, expand field views, which is this one. I see a lot of time spent, 142 milliseconds, 306 milliseconds, and then 82 milliseconds right here. This is exactly the place where I should be looking at my performance bottleneck. So I'm going to apply a very simple trick. I'm going to use memoization, which is a sort of caching of results of a function based on the arguments. From my IDE, I'm going to import the memoization function from Lodash. And with that function, I'm going to go find expand fields. So I'm going to rename it, say do expand fields, and now create a copy. 
This copy of expand fields is basically going to cache the results of this function call. Okay, to check, I'm going to reload once again. So the state is clean. I'm gonna go to performance and record again. Let's type V and stop recording. Look at this yellow chunk now. This is a huge improvement. And if we go to bottom up, you're gonna see that expand views is no longer inside this activity list. Let's go back to the summary tab and we can see that the scripting time went way down to just 239 milliseconds. And as you can see, the noise right about here in this area of the flame chart is significantly lower than what we had before this optimization. The biggest culprit has been caught but the application is still not perfectly optimized. Now is the time to repeat this process over and over again until we are satisfied with the results. You are now ready to start auditing your own application. And trust me, when you try this out, you're gonna be doing this over again with your applications, with other people's applications, because it's very addictive to be in control. If you want to learn more about web performance, take a look at our web performance playlist, but also subscribe to our channel because we are going to be releasing more videos like this one. And don't forget to use the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions and I love learning from your experiences. Thank you for watching. See you soon.